Automatic Addison. Welcome back everyone. In this tutorial, we will cover how to install and configure Visual Studio Code for your ROS2 projects. Visual Studio Code, often shortened VS Code, is a free and open source code editor developed by Microsoft. It's a popular choice for programmers of all levels from beginners to professionals because it's one, lightweight and fast, two, it's flexible, three, it's customizable, and four, it's feature rich. Okay, before we begin, let me just tell you, take your time. Remember, slow is smooth, smooth is fast. By following each step very carefully, you ensure a correct setup of Visual Studio Code for ROS2, avoiding errors and wasted time troubleshooting. By methodically installing the extensions and configuration settings, you create a solid foundation for your future ROS2 development work. This prevents time-consuming issues later, like debugging, setup mistakes, or missing tools, making your work smoother in the long run. Open up a web browser. I am going to open up Firefox. Let's go to Google. Okay, and the first thing we need to do is to install VS Code. And to do that, we need to go to the Visual Studio Code download page. So let's type Visual Studio Code Download Linux. Click on the link. And since we are running Ubuntu, I'm going to click this .deb. We see the download in the upper right. Just finish. Let's see where it downloaded. We can see it downloaded right here in our downloads folder. Open a terminal window, go to the downloads folder, CD tilde slash downloads. Okay. And just to check what directory we are in, you can type PWD and you can see home Ubuntu downloads, that tilde symbol that you see, this tilde right here is actually the same thing as home Ubuntu. It's your home directory right there. We just use the tilde so we don't have to type all of that home Ubuntu stuff. So let's see what file is in there. And you can see we have our code 1.96. This is the Debian install file that you just downloaded. And now let's run this command so that we can actually install VS code type sudo D P K G space hyphen I, and then the name of the file. So code, and I'm going to type C and all I need to do is just press the tab button and that runs the auto completion. You can type out the whole file name if you want, but it's much, much easier to type the first letter and then press the tab and it auto completes all that gobbledygook file name. So now we press enter. Let's type the password. And here it says the installer would like to add the Microsoft repository and signing key to update VS code through apt. Would you like to add the Microsoft app repository for visual studio code? We are going to click enter to select yes. All right. So now you have installed VS code. And to get everything started, we need to first move to our ROS2 workspace, type CD space tilde forward slash type R O. And then all you need to do is press the tab button to complete that. And you can see we are in the home Ubuntu ROS2 workspace. We could have also typed CD home Ubuntu and then ROS2. 
and we're in the exact same place here. All right, let's type clear to have a nice clear terminal session. And now to open Visual Studio Code, you're going to type this command, C-O-D-E space period. And here we are on the welcome screen. All right. Now, the first time you do this, you might actually get a prompt that says, do you trust the authors of the files in this folder? If that comes up, you want to click trust the authors of all files in the parent folder Ubuntu, and then you're going to click the yes button. So that's what you should do. Now, the first thing we need to do is to select the color theme and I am going to go to file. Let's go down to preferences, theme and color theme. And we've got a lot of color themes to choose from, which you can see here. I will select solarized dark because it reduces blue light emission from my screen which can help minimize disruption to my natural sleep-wake cycle. This theme is particularly beneficial for low light environments and late night coding sessions as it reduces eye strain and makes extended work more comfortable. So let's look for the solarized dark theme. Let's click it. You can see it's nice and beautiful here. Looking good, looking good. Also, if you prefer a lighter environment, you could have also selected solarized light. Okay, now that we've got our color theme set up, let's go to the extensions. We're gonna click right here on the left side of the window. And the first extension we will install is the C, C++ extension by Microsoft. We can actually see it right here. Just click install. Okay, we see it's installing right now. Okay, so it has installed in the bottom right, we can just X out of this. Now in the upper left, we need to install the ROS extension. This is also created by Microsoft. Type capital R-O-S. We see it right here, the ROS extension, and we see Microsoft. Click install. You can see it is saying installing right here. That is finished. Now let's install the CMake extension. So I'm going to type C M A K E to search for it. And we are going to install the version that is made by TW x s click install okay that installed very quickly next we need to install the cmake tools extension made by microsoft and it looks like actually it's right here cmake tools just click install on that one you don't need to worry about what all these extensions do right now. Just follow the instructions. Later, we'll go over how you actually use these tools in your ROS2 development work. But don't worry about it. This is a very standard setup for ROS2 development work. Okay, we have installed CMake Tools. 
Now let's install the XML extensions. You need to search for XML and install the version made by Red Hat. So I'm going to click here, type XML Red Hat, click install. And while that's installing, okay, I just finished. Let's install the Python extension. And we are going to go into here and search for Python. And we are going to install the Python version made by Microsoft. And it might actually already be installed. In my case, it's already installed. Yes, already installed. Now we need to install the auto doc string extension, A U T O D O C string. And we are going to install the auto doc string extension made by Nils Werner. Click install. Okay, that has installed. Now let's set our default indentation for our code to two spaces using the menu go to file preferences settings search for indentation i n d e n t a t i o n indentation and down here we are going to change where it says four right here under editor tab size, set that to two. And where it says editor insert spaces, set this to true to ensure that pressing tab inserts spaces instead of a literal tab character. So that's already set to true. It's clicked on. These changes take effect immediately. Now you can close VS Code by going to File, Close Window, and you can open your VS Code inside your workspace like this, because normally we are going to be using VS Code for our actual source code for our robotics programs. So type CD, space, tilde forward slash ross2 underscore workspace and then src remember this is where all of our code for our robotics programs will go so you often want to open vs code from this directory from your terminal window and so let's open vs code now by typing code space and then the period And you can see now that we have opened VS Code inside the SRC directory. That is it. You are now ready to use Visual Studio Code for your ROS2 development work. In future tutorials, we will use this extensively for creating all sorts of very interesting programs for our robots. So stay tuned. We've got through a lot of this setup work and, and these fundamentals, and now you have a very strong foundation to go out and start developing robotics projects, which we will do in future tutorials. Thank you. I'll see you in the next tutorial and keep building.